go. Now we're recording. Welcome to Mailbag. Uh, we're just going to get started. Um, I know uh, I spent uh, some time this week, believe it or not, trying to get the mailbags, the, p- the past mailbags uploaded, and uh, it turns out it's, it's actually somewhat tricky to do. Uh, so um, despite my efforts to get all of the mailbags for January uploaded, none of them are uploaded yet. I will try again, um, and uh, hopefully this week I can do, you know, at least, the, the, I think there's five of them during January. Um, uh, hopefully this week I can get those up. We'll, we'll try again, like I said. Um, I don't know, I may have to change the process entirely to get it to, to work out for us. Uh, without getting too technical, I think that the bottom line problem, of course, is that our internet connection here is terrible, um, and uh, trying to upload stuff cuts into the bandwidth that we have to do the Kitten Academy live stream. Uh, This live stream takes up basically all the bandwidth that we have to start with. So everything else that we want to do, we got to squeeze into the little tiny space that's left over. Uh, I I, uh, I don't know, I just, I really wish we had fiber internet here and they keep sending me promises saying that we'll have it. Uh, They, they, over a year ago, they sent me a message saying that they were going to have it uh, like in 30 days and it never panned out. so I keep calling the internet providers and like, hey, when are we going to get it? When are we going to get it? And uh, yeah, well, anyway, <sighs> um, I don't even need fiber. I just need a, like a symmetrical connection, you know, something that's more than what they give you for cable uh, uh, uploading speeds. It's, um, I don't know. Okay. Uh, so, uh, news of the week. Let's see. Um, we got the new mom cat. The new mom cat's name is, uh, is coming to me. Um, Nibbles, Puddles, uh, oh, Serenity. Of course it is. So, uh, so, uh, Serenity is here. She, uh, is pregnant. We've determined she took her to the vet this week. We found out she's definitely pregnant, but, uh, we don't know exactly when she's going to deliver. What we do know is that they could see the kitten's heartbeats with the ultrasound, but they could not see anything on the x-ray. So that sort of gives us an upper and lower limit for what it is, because we know it's about um, uh, just roughly, say, 25 days um, from where, before you start to see the heartbeat. Uh, so we know it's at least 25, 23, 25 days, something in that neighborhood. Um, versus on the other end, we know that they start to, to see the... Uh, skeletons on the x-ray in about 45 days, 42, 40, 45, somewhere in that neighborhood. So we know somewhere between, call it, uh, 20 and uh, 45 days into the pregnancy. We could be anywhere in that range. We don't know if we're 20 days in, if we're 40 days in, uh, but we did schedule her for another x-ray in three weeks, which should tell us at least how many kittens we have. By that point, she's definitely going to be in that last segment. And just for the record, we're talking about uh, 20 days, then 20 to 45 days is when where we are, and then uh, the 45 on is uh, kittens, um, their total pregnancy time is about 60, a little bit more than 60 days. So um, what we know then for sure is that we've got, you know, I'd say call it at least three weeks uh, at, the, at a minimum, and it could be, uh, you know, it could be a lot more than that. It could be six weeks, so... Um, so we'll find out. Uh, as for everybody else, they're doing great. They're super happy and healthy. And uh, the big news for Puddles kids, the little tiny kittens that are upstairs right now, uh, Puddles kids have started eating solid food. All of them have tried at least a little bit. None of them are really jumping into it. Although right from the start, uh, well, on the first day, Brawly, uh, I put her in front of the food. She just started eating, which was really cool. Since then, I haven't seen her repeat that feat. <laughs> Um, and the rest of them, you know, we do that trick where we kind of try to start them out by putting a little bit of food in their mouth, and then as they start sort of licking and swallowing that, they usually just keep going. So I'll put the, put the little food in their mouth, put them right in front of the food, and then they usually just dive right into it. And we've seen that work uh, for them a couple times, but nobody's really taken to it yet, which is fine. They're ahead of schedule. Uh, they're, they're like a good solid week ahead of uh, schedule right now. So we'll just yeah, we'll keep giving them food and uh, keep encouraging them to eat, and I know that they will end up uh, getting it in due time. So uh, they're they're happy, healthy, fat little kittens, though, just the way we like. Um, And then, of course, there's these kids. This is Spatula right here, and we've got, uh, that's Rami on the pool table, and I can see their mom, Nibbles, is in the tissue pit, and we've got Teaspoon having a nap right here on the S-shaped S. He's already worn out. The rest of them are going to be worn out because they've been playing all morning. 
and I see uh, there's Goblet, and uh, I guess the one I don't see is Spork, but she's probably right here somewhere. Maybe she's in the tissue pit with her mom where I can't see. Something's moving in there. So, uh, so yeah, everybody's doing great. Happy, healthy kittens just the way we like it right now. Um, we also uh, have scheduled teaspoons follow-up with the cardiologist on the 23rd. So uh, a little bit later than uh, what I had said we were going to do, but a little bit earlier than what the cardiologist originally wanted. So we sort of split the difference there. Uh, 23rd was the first day that we could really get him in there. So, All right, I think that's it for news. Let me check one more time. Camera angles and sound, make sure we're good. Camera angles look good, okay. And let's check the chat to see what people are saying about the sound. Seems pretty good. Okay. Cool, all right. Um, uh, I think we've only got the one letter this week. I, I thought we had more, but I didn't see, the, you know, I might have left them in the car after all. Well, I'll try to remember to check after mailbag. I don't want to interrupt uh, the flow. But this one on the outside here on the return address, it says Ginger Cat Low, which I assume is Ginger Cat Lover. And we got a little kitten eating pizza, super cute. And on the back, we've got a cat who's packed himself into luggage with a fish and a mouse. And also one falling asleep on the sofa with the remote. Very cute stickers. All right, let's get a letter opener. Oh, we have that new letter opener. Let's, uh, let's see if we can get that to work for us. I haven't even opened it yet. I need a letter opener to open the letter opener. Okay, I need a letter opener opener. That's what I need. I used one. It's my finger. Okay, there we go. Wow, that's nice. Okay. It's nice if there's enough of a gap to fit that thing into. If there's not, then you're kind of left out, aren't you? Hi, Maggie. Oh, well, I can already see that there is a donation here for Teaspoons Dr. Bills from Ginger Cat Lover. That is so sweet. Thank you very much for that generous donation. I'm sure it will help. Uh, and if, uh, um, you know, if it works out, we'll just, we'll pay it forward. We always save that stuff for the next Dr. Bills, too. Uh, we call it our war chest, I guess. I guess that's what I've been calling it. This is so cute. We've got a card that says, In the whole entire spacious, possibly alien-inhabited galaxy, with uh, little aliens that look like cats and mice, and a rabbit, possibly, uh, it says, you, Oh, there's a, there's a musical thing. Hang on. It's on the side. It says, Your star shines the brightest. Hope your birthday is stellar. And then let's see what it does. Oh. I know a person who's the brightest by far. They're so shiny and twinkly. The loveliest thing in the galaxy. Twinkle, twinkle in every way. We hope you have a really happy birthday. Oh, yeah. That's not bad. The sound quality on these cards has come so far. Uh, so that's cute. Um, it says, happy birthday. On seven years old, Perfect Kitten Academy, uh, XXOO, Ginger Cat Lover. Thank you so much. That's a very cute singing card. And the cats weren't too frightened by it, just interested, which is good. Thank you so much. That's really, really sweet of you. I love the space theme, too. I've even got uh, the alien on my shirt today, so it all comes together. All right. Well, uh, assuming that there aren't any other letters for right now, let's just dive right into what we have to open. Uh, I'm going to need a knife, and this is addressed to Kitten Academy, The Little Mud Puddles. Uh, that's a cute name for puddles, kids. Oh, oh, I think this is the long-tailed mice that have become a classic. Indeed it is. The mud puddles are just beginning their first lessons of explore and play. Here are their preschool mice for immediate deployment so they can dive right into their studies at KA from Joe and her cat, Halfers. Perfect. And these are the long-tailed mice that are, uh, they're jingly and rattly and crinkly and long. And you don't need this one. There's one for you right over there. It's in the green thing. You go look over there. You've got your own. <laughs> you look confused now that I put it away. Uh, thank you, Joe and Halfers. This will be perfect for, uh, I like the mud puddles, although I think the official name is the April Meowers. I don't know if you've heard DJ endorse that, but I know that she does. So I'm going to write um, April Meowers on this box, but I will plan on bringing them one sooner rather than later. Perfect. That way I don't forget who that is for. All right, Ari wants to sit on top of all the boxes like he always does. We're going to have to try to work around it. 
Uh, let's see, is there a note here? Joy F is what it says. So thank you in advance, Joy F. I think I see what this is, and I think I know who it's for, but let's double check. It is a Yao catnip pineapple. It's not for you. I know Maggie loves all the, the catnip. New Mom Cat from Abby Bayou, Lila, and Cara Bean. Thank you so much, Joy and company. Um, I will give this to our new mom cat, Serenity is her name. I need to get that stuck in my head. Uh, so far, it's, uh, it's been a little hard for me to remember. So uh, I will give this to Serenity. I know Serenity really likes the cat. If she's been feeling a little low the last few days since her vet trip, I think she's trying to get those worms out since we gave her the dewormer. And, oh, man, you should have seen the first poop after she got that dewormer. It was full of worms. It was pretty gross. Um, but uh, since then... Uh, let's see, I've been keeping an eye on it, and as of this morning, her litter box had some bad poop and some good poop in it, which is a first. So I'm hoping that's a sign of better things to come. <laughs> uh, that's a weird way to put it, but yeah, that's exactly what I mean. So uh, yeah, hopefully um, hopefully that means that she's going to start having some, some good poops now, and she's going to start feeling a little perkier. She's a real shy kitty, um, like like kind of reminds me of Eddie, except Eddie was more like, had this like nervous energy and she doesn't have that energy. She's just, uh, you can tell she's kind of afraid of stuff though, like Eddie was. So if I go into her room and I pick her up and I sit down in the beanbag chair with her, she snuggles, she purrs, she's got the loudest purr. She just, she will snuggle for a long time. Uh, she hardly ever gets tired of it. Just the sweetest thing. It's wonderful. Um, but I've discovered that if I pick her up and carry her out of the room to, say, the bedroom and sit down with her on the bed and do the exact same thing, just hang on to her and snuggle and cuddle, can't get a single purr out of her. Um, she doesn't seem, though, like she's super nervous. It's not like Eddie who would jump up and run away. She'll just sit there and, and, and not purr. <laughs> so you can tell she's not a huge fan of it. Uh, but I'm hoping that with some time she'll, she'll start to realize that it's just as safe a place as her beanbag chair. So she's a real sweetheart. Anyway, we, I know she loves the catnip toys, uh, so hopefully she'll, she'll enjoy this. I had this in my pocket because this is Nibble's favorite toy. She's got two of these little balls that have uh, like an animal print on them. They're just, they're just soft little fuzzy uh, fake fur balls. And I always see her carrying these around. And when you hear her like calling to her kids when she makes the loudest meows, she's usually got one of these or another toy, but these are her favorites. So do you want this right now? I'm not going to throw it in the tissue pick because I'll never find it and you might not pick it up. Okay, I'll just, I'll just leave it out here where she can find it. There we go. Okay. Uh, anyway, all right, perfect. Let's keep rolling. Next up we have, well, this one just says Kitten Academy. No special clues on that. Oh, but I see it is receiving blankets. Always, always a good thing. Let's see what they look like. Oh, so cute. They've got little pink hearts and little green things. Oh, and an embroidered, wow, an embroidered butterfly on one of them. That's special. We don't normally see any actual embroidery on it. And uh, the bottom, we've got fruit stripe bubble gum, apparently. Is that still a thing? That's probably still a thing. I always, fruit stripe is that gum, like, it's just, it's got the best, like, this sour, wonderful, fruity flavor that lasts approximately a second and a half. And then it just tastes like cardboard. Uh, it's amazing to me how that flavor can vanish so quickly. Uh, welcome to Kitten Academy, new mom. You're in the best place in the world to have your babies. Here are some blankets for your box from Frozen Tundra Crew. Well, thank you so much, Frozen Tundra Crew. I think that we uh, actually have like a backlog of blankets from you and everybody else. Uh, but like, uh, just like our war chest, we hang on to those. And uh, then, you know, if we have an especially poopy day or we have a bunch that kind of wear out at the same time and we end up cycling in all the new ones. So they will definitely get used. It's a very practical thing. Thank you so much, uh, Frozen Tundra Crew. Ari's continuing to sit on that box, so we'll just have to pull from the other pile, but he's going to have to move soon. He always sits on the boxes, and he never wants to move. All right, this one also says Joy F. All right, Joy and Abby and Bayou and Lila and Carabine. Uh, deploy from Bayou, Abby, Lila, and Carabine. All right, perfect. Well, here we have more. Uh, we have Yao Catnip Bananas, which, uh, again, are something that all the cats and kittens love. Maggie's a big fan of all the catnip stuff, so are all the mom cats. These are just an, always a hit, so thank you so much. Uh, I know you said deploy. I will take that to mean that we can deploy them whenever we're ready for them, uh, which I think is not quite yet. 
but they definitely will get plenty of use around here. And I'm just going to write uh, general on them so I know they're for use and not uh, to be reserved necessarily for endowments. All right? Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. Okay, well, uh, let's go for our B and B box. I think you guys recognize that that's what this is. The one that uh, Ari's not on top of is from the B and B sisters. You can tell from the fact that it is a white box with these little round stickers on it, just like they always do. And uh, it did get a little damaged in shipping, but I don't, I don't think anything came out. So we should be f fine here. Ooh. Oh, hey, look at that. I thought this was candy, but I was fooled by more of those cute little um, uh, knockoff, uh, what do you call them? Uh, uh, parody, parody uh, cat toys. These are uh, little catnip bags, and one of them is uh, kitties instead of Skittles, fur candy kitties. Um, and then the other one is my favorite, walnut uh, W's and W's. W's and W's instead of M and M's. Uh, I love that. Those are so great. Okay, uh, let's see. There's a note right on top, so let's start there. It's got a beautiful picture of a cat that looks a lot like Maggie, a long-haired white and gray cat with a butterfly on its nose. Super pretty. And inside it says, hello to all at Kitten Academy. We hope this box makes it to you in a more timely manner than our last box. That box had quite a journey, getting lost in the mail for a week and then traveling between Massachusetts and Connecticut a couple of times. Anyway, the usual toys, blankets, and food are enclosed. Sorry we overdid it again with the toys, but as you know, it's so easy to spoil cats and kittens. If you could, please deploy the toys at the top of the box. Our cats really wanted to play with them, so we're sure they will be a hit at uh, Kitten Academy. Well, that must be these that are at the top of the box. And it looked like Custard was interested in them. And I love the W's and W's especially. Let's see. You guys like that, huh? Custard, did you want some W's and W's or some Kittles? It looks like it says kitties, but it should be kittles, so that's what we're going to go with. Uh, all right, there we go. He's going to get right into it. Uh, thank you for all you do in taking care of those precious mom cats and their kittens. From the B&B &B sisters, Beatrice and Bernadette. Thank you so much, B&B &B sisters. That's a beautiful uh, photo on the card. And I think that these are going to be a hit, even if the cats don't end up enjoying them, which it looks like they will. Custer's it kind of into it. The W's and W's crack me up every time, so thank you for that. All right, here we have uh, the uh, usual collection of blankets. Um, this one's got a very cute little kitty on it. DJ's going to love this. She loves these ones with these just adorable little kittens uh, drawings on them. So she's going to get a big kick out of this one. I can tell you that in advance. That's a beautiful cat. Uh, next, we've got uh, an art one. Just Whoops, oh, look at that. This came along with it. This is uh, some uh, Mylar balls. Perfect. Uh, so this one is, oh, it's a little kitten with some butterflies. Look at that. That's so, oh, two little kittens. Wow. Those eyes are beautiful. That's some great art. It's interesting um, that the, the kittens are done in such a uh, sort of abstract style. And then over in the corner here, we have like a line art of a sunflower. It, it seems like two completely different artists worked on this. Or maybe one did the background, one did the front. Very interesting. Uh, I, um, it makes a cool combination, though, and the colors are just wonderful. So uh, thank you so much for that. Okay, there we go. Fold that back up for now. All right. Um, all right, let's keep rolling here. So much stuff in a B&B &B box. Uh, we have uh, wine and a loaf of bread, and they are just squished down for shipping, and we'll leave it that way for now, but it's super cute. The wine bottle has pictures of fish and a sleeping cat on it. I think he's sleeping around a wine bottle. And then a uh, loaf of French bread to go with the wine, so it's very Frenchy, uh, French bread and French wine, I assume. That's what we'll go with. Here we have what they call sparkle fish cat toy. Uh, that's a pretty descriptive. They are little fish. They are little sparkly, and they have feathers, tails. They're wonderful toys. Uh, here we have another thing that is a one sparkly fish and one not sparkly fish. It says silly swimmers catnip and crinkle toys. 
They've got ridiculous uh, fish lips on the front. Very cute. We have a Miaui meal, two pack, a uh, hamburger and fries with eyes. Uh, that's a little bit creepy, uh, but I'm sure the cats will like them quite a bit. We have another set of fish. This is a clownfish and a blue clownfish. I don't know if that's a thing or just, you know, a little artistic license there with feathery tails. I'm sure the cats will like them. The dental shrimpies, these are fun. They've got that uh, sort of mesh on them that is supposed to be good for the cats to chew on. I know we've seen these before and they were a hit, so those should be fun. We have so many toys. We have a pounce and play. Uh, looks like a cheesecake, like a New York cheesecake maybe. That's what I'm going to say with a little strawberry on top. We have some feather-tailed little mice with, oh uh, yes, with rattles inside. We have bacon and egg and what are these last things though? Oh, sausage links. Oh, and they're linked together. Bacon, egg, and sausage link. Well, that's a that's a definitely a breakfast, uh, the kind of breakfast you get from the diner. Okay, we have a hedgehog and a squirrel hanging out together. It says Woodland Critters Two Pack. Super cute. We have sardines two pack. It is a sardine and a can of sardines. Super sassy sardines in pure catnip. I like the in pure catnip. That's a cute detail. All right, so we got a that's a very shiny sardine. Uh, these are Logan's favorite mice, value pack, smarty cat, skitter critters. Yep, they are just the, they're just the soft uh, mice with just batting inside and a little string tail. Logan loves to play fetch with these um, when he doesn't have his worms. He piles these things up at the side of the bed all night while I'm sleeping so that I will throw them, but he, he doesn't seem to understand sleeping. This is a Chinese takeout box uh, cat toy. How cool is that? It's made of folded felt, so the whole thing is a toy. It says Chow Main. It's got uh, Chow Mean. Uh, I don't know. Is that how you spell it? Maybe it is. It's got a fat little kitty uh, logo on the front, and it's got a piece of broccoli hanging out here, and it looks like it's closed with Velcro, so you can actually open it. All right, let's see. Uh, oh, I see. Inside are... Okay, it's it's got... It's, uh, there we go. It had a little bit of thing to seal it. Inside are two rubber noodles, so I probably won't leave these alone with the kittens given their track record for eating stuff like this that they shouldn't eat. But they are uh, rubber noodles and uh, obviously a piece of broccoli here. So we can take the broccoli and put it inside. Uh, maybe. There we go. There. That'll be fun. Uh, with that string, I guess I can't leave it entirely unsupervised, but I like the fact that it's Velcro. You can close it up again. And the string doesn't seem like it's going to go anywhere right away. That's a very sturdy string. So that's super cute. I love, that's, that's a really, I've never seen anything like that. I like that a lot. Uh, this is also cute, something I haven't seen. I've seen plenty of little coffee cups, but this one has a plastic lid on top with little beads in it. So it's got some rattles and some visual interest too. It says Cat Cafe. Super adorable. Here we have a Kong Mini Kickeroo. Perfect little cat toy. Another set of fries. This one's got feathers in the fries, so I guess they're chicken fries. Uh, and it's got the same logo. Look at that. That can't be a coincidence, can it? Huh. All right. So I guess they can kind of go together. Very cool. Is this the same logo, too? I think it might be, actually. It's a little harder to see on there, but I think it is the same little fat kitty logo. How about that? Hmm. It all comes together. This is definitely the same logo on this uh, cup and donut. There we go. So I see a theme here. We have a Pounce Toy Organic Catnip Kitty Bells. Uh, it is a little uh, minnow, a very realistic looking minnow, soft toy. Uh, I'm going to put these noodles in my pocket because I really don't trust them. They are, they're like rubber and uh, exactly the kind of thing a cat kitten is going to chew into. So let's just put those right in here so I don't have to keep hanging on to them. We have a whole set of fish, actually, all from the Kitty Bells. Uh, this one is um, a little angel fish, maybe? I don't know, a little colorful for an angel fish, but it's got that shape to it. Uh, some sort of a um, uh, 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 I don't know. It's, it's very bright. <laughs> and then the clownfish here that we all know. Those all look very realistic, super cool. Here we have 
Cloud Island flannel blankets. Perfect. These have little mountains and uh, little mountain symbols. And this one's, oh, it's got arrows on it. And the arrows point both ways so DJ won't get confused. Perfect. That's great. Uh, thank you for more receiving blankets. And then we have, oh, hey, look at this. All right. Uh, first off, another blanket with, oh, some even more cute kittens on it. Oh, DJ's going to love this one, too. And look at that. It's so soft. Wow, this is really thick uh, fleece on there. And it's got a little kittens playing with things. Uh, that's super adorable. All right. That's going to be a real fun one for her. And then finally, at the very bottom of the box, uh, hang on, buddy. Let's stack up our blankets here. Okay. Thank you. Okay, you want to play with everything, don't you? Uh, finally, at the very bottom of the box, we have our new food, Nulo. Uh, Grain-free turkey and chicken. It's perfect. That's exactly the right thing. Uh, it's weird, though, because it looks like a different cat on the, the can somehow. Maybe I'm just not remembering right, but this is exactly what we're feeding them. The pate, Nulo, turkey and chicken. Uh, so uh, that's, that's fantastic. I think you're the first one to send us the new food, which everybody's liking quite a bit. It seems like it's working out pretty well for us so far. Of course, it takes time to know these things for sure. Actually, I'm going to take the food out, and that way I can uh, put it directly in with our food in the kitchen when we're done here. And um, thank you so much for sending that. Uh, and I can put this stuff for endowments or general use back into the box here. These are so cute. Thank you. Wow, that is such a great selection of toys. You must have so much fun picking these things out, and you find some really unique stuff. Uh, especially this little takeout container. That's so cute. Uh, you could put all kinds of fun stuff in there, too, or just fill it up with catnip, maybe, and it would spill out a little. That could be a lot of fun for them, too. It's so, so cute. All right. Um, and then this was also kind of for general use, so I'll put that in there, but I don't want to get confused with the stuff that's specifically for the April Meowers, so we'll leave that out. And it looks like Ari's finally moved, so we can start opening this stuff. Okay. I hear the kittens meowing. It sounded like uh, Sporks got a meow that she makes. They're playing in the kitchen. I can see them playing. I don't see why anybody would be meowing. I think they're playing with a spring. All right, let's try one more time with this knife. Come on now. Okay, we got it. Perfect. Oh, that's a cool print. What's going on in here? Oh, did, was there a clue in the address? I don't know, because I covered it up. But I think we know what this might be all about. Look at that. Wow. All right, let's read the note. Also, is this packing material, or is there something else in here? Such a catnippy smell. It feels like there's something else in here. Oh, oh, there is something else in here. Look how cute that is. Hmm. Wow. All right, well, we'll get to that in just a second. Did not expect that. Uh, so, Mr. A and Dr. DJ, okay to read on stream. Oh, and it's sealed with sealing wax. So fancy. All right, put that right over there. Oh, wow, the card has a cat uh, in a bunch of plants, tropical plants with a pineapple in the background. It's perfect. And the card says, Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, wishing you a happy KA anniversary. Thank you so much for sharing a little bit of your lives and a whole lot of your house <laughs> with us. Love, True Blue. Well, thank you, True Blue. Oh, you smell like... You do smell like... Oh, DJ made this joke earlier. Um, DJ's wearing some patchouli today. You might be familiar with that smell. And she picked up a little spatula here and got the smell on her which is a very distinctive smell, and I could smell it as soon as she sat here. Uh, DJ said she's spatually, spat, spatually. I, okay, I thought it was pretty good. DJ is very proud of herself. Okay, uh, dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, another great class with the Q-tensils. Nibbles is a wonderful mother. I'm always amazed how these new KA attendees go from timid, quiet cats to strong, protective, nurturing, and very vocal mom cats. They always find the right balance of continuing education for their kittens and playing the disciplinarian to running, chasing, and playing with them once they know the kittens are on the right track to graduation. It's so true. Nibbles has really started to turn into a kitten herself. I can see, actually, now I see her. She just uh, moved in the kitchen to where I can see her playing with the kittens in the spring. 
Uh, they are all chasing around. And she really has become playful. She comes zooming around the house. She takes that ball like I was talking about, and she'll run around the house with it in her mouth and meow for kittens to come play. It's super sweet. Ramekin and Goblet are so big and bold, they know they can take on the world, or at least the Kitten Academy campus. Spatula and Spork are so fast and furiously cute, proving black cats can be social media influencers with beauty and boundless energy. And then there's Little Teaspoon. Ah, Teaspoon. In so many ways, he's like Bessie. We keep saying he's brave and he's strong and he's doing amazing considering his size. But even more like Bessie, Teaspoon doesn't realize he's so small. He just does things his own way and somehow keeps up with his sisters. I mean, he may have to stop and nap on occasion. (laughs) And he is curled up in a cute nap right now. But what cat doesn't, am I right? I hope Nibbles and her cutensils enjoy their kickers as much as I enjoy making them. Uh, Oh, and I also had the amazing opportunity to go to Hawaii this March. Wow. I saw this little tiki pineapple figurine, and well, I couldn't help myself. Oh, oh, that must be in the box as well. But you also got hot Hawaiian chili pepper sea salt. What on earth? Made in Hawaii. Hot Hawaiian chili pepper sea salt. I have never heard of such a thing. Um, but I didn't realize there was something else in here. Little tiki pineapple figurine. That sounds so cute. We also went to the Kona Salt Farm for a tour. A salt farm for a tour. Now, I imagine in Hawaii, the salt comes from the, the sea. It's the sea salt where uh, my mom lives in Kansas where they have salt mines, which I visited a couple times. I find them fascinating. You go deep down underground, and then you're basically in like a giant... Uh, well, like, like you're in a giant salt crystal. The whole thing is, is salt, well, and rock, but mostly salt. And uh, it's, just, it's just crazy. And uh, yeah, the salt mines, I, I highly recommend them as just sort of a thing to check out because they're fascinating. Anyway, after the tour, we got to sample some of their flavored salts with fruits and veggies. The enclosed salt was part of the tasting, and I just knew I had to get it for you. Read what it says on the bag, which is... Uh, pairs well with pineapple, Kona Salt Farm team. How about that? Uh, so I've, I've not tried salting pineapple, but I do know that that's a thing, salting fruit to make the, the flavor uh, pop a little more. Uh, not something I, don't, I think I've ever really done, but uh, I will have to try it out. That sounds great, especially with the chili, uh, chili hot Hawaiian chili pepper salt. Oh, huh, going to have to try it. Okay. Um, Enjoy. Happy stream anniversary, K.A. Love. True Blue. True Blue, thank you so much. And uh, your little tiny pineapple uh, tiki is uh, its super cute. It's, it doesn't look at all like I was imagining it. It's, it looks like a little, uh, well, it looks like a little pineapple, maybe a Mai Tai glass or something with a tiki face on it and then a little pineapple greens coming out the top. Uh, he's, he's very tiny and adorable. Thank you so much. I just, that's so sweet of you to think of us while you were in that beautiful place. Wow. I've never been, but it's on my list of things to do someday for sure. So uh, I'm excited to try all of that. Thank you so much. Okay. So let's take a look at the kickers as always. So uh, just so we can see who's got what. So the first one here is, I guess I can take them out there. They're covered in catnip. I, okay, don't don't take all that away. No, I don't want to lose any of this, all right? Let me put it over here where I can keep a better eye on it. Okay, so uh, n- this, this one's Ramekin. It's got these little cartoon kitties on the front, a nice yellow back. This one is Nibbles with these gray uh, cartoon kitties and fish bones and bright pink on the back. Very sweet. Uh, oh, wow, this is very colorful little cartoon kitties for spatula uh, with uh, sort of a... Uh, cantaloupe, cantaloupe color on the back. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, Cantaloupe sounds like a fruit that my dad probably would have salted. Uh, Teaspoon has an orange, of course, on the back. And these little orange kittens, and orange and gray kittens, wearing glasses on the front. Some of them wearing glasses. That's adorable. Uh, Then we have one here for goblet. Gets this beautiful teal sort of color. And on the front, oh, we have more kittens, a whole different print, and some of these are wearing glasses, too. What a cute idea. And then, finally, that leaves uh, Spork. Spork gets the red, bright red, and on the front, we've got the sort of uh, kittens with their arms wide open, 
Uh, well, some of them are. They look like they're in a crowd cheering for something. They all look very fixed on whatever they're looking at. Super beautiful. They are going to love these catnip kickers. Uh, it seems like they're already interested. <clears throat> but let's put them up for now. Here we go. And uh, I'm not putting them in there nearly as nicely as you had them. <laughs> okay, well, that's the best I'm going to do. Let's get some of this air out. And... Oop. There we go. Okay. Uh, well, let's set these aside for now, and we'll put it with this. <clears throat> uh, those can go down for potentially for endowments. All right. So uh, what else have we got here? We've got a, one box from Mural to Nibbles, and we have three boxes uh, from Charlie I uh, that are numbered box one, two, and three. Open when all three boxes arrive. So I don't know which one to do first. Let's do the big box from Mural first. That way, maybe we can have a better way to sort things out. So, uh, Mural's box is very cute. You can tell it's from Mural because, excuse me, they've got this custom-made tape that's got Mural's picture on it. She is so pretty. Oh, such a pretty cat. With the extra thumbs and the, her silly face. Okay. So, address two nibbles. I like the knife guard. Oh, and we've got the... Hello, so she's talking, hello from the other side. Super cute. All right, uh, and inside, here we go. We have the note. Oh, it's a clipped onto something. I'm gonna unclip the note here. Look at that, that's a nice clip. Wow, that's a big note. It says the note. And let's open it up here. Oh, oh, what, oh, oh, wow, goodness. Oh, it just unrolls like Santa Claus's list. Um... One, two, okay, it must be like this. Oh, and look at that. We've got mural magnets. You guys have really uh, gone all in on the mural photos. I love it. The magnets are so pretty. What a beautiful cat she is. And also what look like some little stickers. One of them is uh, like a Japanese cat playing, um, uh, what's that guitar-like instrument uh, I can't think of? And then we have a uh, couple of very hipster cats drinking a pumpkin spice latte and riding a bicycle. Those are super cute. And then the two mural magnets, uh, I will put those all together with the clip. There we go. Perfect. All right. It says, hi, Nibbles. It's me, Mural. Welcome to the Kitten Academy Mom Cats Club. As you know, you couldn't have landed in a better place to have your babies. Mr. A and Dr. DJ are the best. They always make sure we are well cared for. And if, it's, uh, uh, <clears throat> and if something doesn't seem right... They take care of it right away, just like they did with your boy, Teaspoon. My baby, Splotch, also had the same issues. She is right as rain now. Now, I have something to tell you. In the coming weeks, things are going to change. A place called Dawes is going to find you all the perfect forever homes. Now, don't be scared. The other side of KA is wonderful. You all will be loved, spoogled, and spoiled by your duders. Trust me. To help with your transition, I've enclosed gift bags for each of you to take home. If at any time you want to talk, use your banana phone and call me at 1-518-MAMA-MAY. Uh, <laughs> that's cute. <laughs> Mew-E. I see that's Mew-E. Mama Mew-E. Time for, time for me to wrap up. So many birds, chipmunks, and bunnies to watch. Wishing you the best, Mew. Note for Maggie. Maggie, you listening? Oh, you are listening. Wow. I have enclosed some items for KA General I use. The two tunnels are perfect to use with ripple rugs, and the other things are for general office use. But I've also enclosed something to remind everyone who the queen bee is. You cannot wear it, but maybe it can be attached to your favorite pod. I'm of the same mind as the Maggie... Uh, legal defense team, you are headmistress and you have every right to do what you do. I never had an issue with it. Nose boop to you, Mew. That is so sweet. <laughs> I miss little mural. Um, so, uh, okay, well, let's, uh, let, you know, let's just see what we're talking about here. I, uh, the gift bags are beautiful. These are so pretty. Look at this. A uh, gift bag. This one says two nibbles from Mural, and I immediately recognize this because you sent some stuff for us with these same little cards on it, and I still have the little card. Uh, it was hanging on our bed for a long time for some reason, and then I moved it to my office, and I see it almost every day in there. Very cute. Um, 
It's also uh, got the ribbon that says, Welcome Home. So perfect for their little graduation gifts. I don't want to undo the ribbon. In fact, I don't, I don't know that I can. So let's just try to peek around it here. We've got a couple of beautiful ones. Uh, we've got um, uh, uh, rattan, not rattan, uh, something like rattan, but much smaller, a little ball. Ooh, we've got this one. Look at that. It looks like some kind of planet uh, with a little feather coming out of it. We've got a very jingly ball. Oh, a little bigger than the usual jingly balls, which always get stepped on and crushed. So maybe this one will last a little longer because it seems to me it looks made out of sterner stuff. Uh, what else? You have uh, uh, some sort of a fruit. Uh, I guess that's um, a dragon fruit, probably, based on the white and black. Uh, we've got springs. We've got mice. We've got mylar balls. We've got fun tubes. Uh, all kinds of stuff. Oh, my goodness. Such a great gift bag. Wow. Okay, let's put all that back in there. And that is, of course, for nibbles. And then we also have, I think, probably identical bags. We've got one here for spatula, one here for ramekin, and for goblet. All right. Let's see here. Uh, we've got some packing material. I'm going to set that behind me. We have one for teaspoon and spork. All right. And then at the bottom... <laughs> uh, we have, first off, a couple of these boxes. I think I mentioned, insert tiny poop and pee is what it says. These are the boxes that we use as little junior litter boxes. And uh, I may have said at one point I had a couple shipments from Chewy that did not include them, but then I had some shipments that did include them, so I've got a giant stack of these saved uh, to use as we need them that should last me quite a while. But I love insert tiny poop and pee. That's adorable. We'll add those to our collection. Uh, then below that we have, oh, as you see fit, the cat tunnel of love. It is a tunnel with the uh, traditional sort of heart-shaped tunnel of love entrance. Um, I don't have to try to take it apart right now, but you can see it says tunnel of love. And then the rest of it is a sort of pink and hearty uh, cat tunnel. That's super cute. Also, as you see fit, uh, crazy for you, uh, same kind of idea, a little heart-shaped cat tunnel of love, but it says crazy for you. Those are adorable. And then at the very bottom, we have Maggie. And what have we got here for Maggie? Quite a collection. It says for Mr. A, Dr. DJ, and also Maggie, Eddie. Oh, I see Tiny Logan. Oh, I see the cats. The cats are labeled. There's cat pictures here, and they do look like... Here you can see this one looks like Maggie wearing a, like a gold, no, pearl necklace. That's adorable. And then on the back, look, we have Tiny Logan. We have Eddie. That's super cute. So uh, let's see. There's a few other things in here, though. So let's see. We have uh, what appear to be cat-shaped paper clips. Uh, various, oh, pineapple-shaped paper clips, too. Who knew that was a thing? Uh, so these are cat paw-shaped paper clips. These are pineapple-shaped paper clips. And these are cat-shaped paper clips. Those are super cool. Uh, we have a drawer in which we put all of our fasteners. So those would go right into there. Uh, then we have a bee that says Queen Bee. I see. That's what's for Maggie, the Queen Bee. And uh, look at that. You like that? She does like it, but you can't wear it. We'll have to put it, like she said, on to uh, onto one of your pods, maybe. Maggie does spend a lot of time in the wall pod. That's turned into one of her places, so maybe that's a place to put it. We have a tiny uh, pineapple wearing sunglasses sticky notes. I don't know how well you can see past Maggie. She's playing with the, uh, the W's and W's, so that's great. And we have a pen, a golden pen with a pineapple on top, with a golden pineapple on top. Very fancy. All right. We'll put all that over here with the stuff, I guess, stuff for us. And then what is this that looks like, is this a pillow cover, I think? A little one foot uh, square? No, it's not. It's a bag. It's a shopping bag. Oh, Oh, look how pretty that is. It's a, it's a cat that looks like Eddie, um, who appears to be looking, I guess, into a mirror. I thought at first it was a window. Uh, and there's all kinds of details going on here. There's also, I see a little tiny kitten looking around a corner. It's easy to miss. 
uh, all kinds of pictures, a card that says you're perfect for me, uh, all kinds of little makeup stuff. So it gets the cats are sitting on a vanity. Very cute. That's a, that's a cute little shopping bag. All right, thank you for that too. There we go. Okay, we'll set that over here. So, all right, uh, thank you for these wonderful endowments. I'm going to just set them on top, I think. of These were, oh no, those are for general use. This is for endowments. So, okay, let's put them back in here. There we go. These gift bags are so nice. It's so nice of you to do that, too. All right, put those in there. Now we can add this right on top, and we can maybe put this in there for now. These can go over here for general use. And that leaves us with the three boxes... Yes, um, here we go, from Charlie I. So, let's check it out. Oh, I just got to adjust myself a little bit here, sit up straight. Okay, all right. Uh, thank you so much. That is, that is some really sweet stuff. I'll put that here. Maggie, do you have to sit directly in front of the camera, though? Here, take your W's and W's. Maggie, Maggie, here. Go get them. All right. Uh, let's see. I'm going to also move these out of the way just a little bit. Let's put them back in this box for now. Oh, if I can. Okay, uh, box one of three. Okay, and we have uh, opening markings here, so I know how to open them, I guess. Yes, cut here. Excellent. Let's see what we have. They've come a long way. All right, box one. Oh, with the note, good. All right. Oh, I recognize some of this stuff. So, let's see. Uh, oh, no. Uh, all right. Hello, Mr. A and DJ. Hope you are both keeping well. Thank you so much for the care and attention you and DJ have given to Teaspoon, a.k.a. the boy the golden boy, who is having lots of spa time and currently still napping. I wonder if I can move him in front of the camera over here without too much disturbing. Also, I think I need to, uh, let's see, I need to adjust how I'm sitting, too. Oh, he's Okay, don't wake up, buddy. It's cool. Don't, don't wake up. He's still not waking up. Good. Good, good, good. Oh, he woke up. All right, well, we almost made it. So cute. All right. I am, I'm going to switch and sit on my knees for a minute here. I wonder if I can do this. Oh, hey, that's nice. All right. Uh, I'll sit kind of this side so that I'm not... There we go. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, who's having lots of spa time, and we all know what that involves. May I wish you all the luck getting teaspoon off chicken and onto normal cat food. Well, yeah, uh, we do have him on the normal cat food, but DJ saw him straining a little bit to poop yesterday, so we had to uh, uh, give him a little more treatment. Plus, I cooked up all the rest of the chicken that we had yesterday just for fun, so we're getting him some more chicken. I'm sorry, bud. I just wanted to feel how you were doing poop-wise. Okay, I'll leave you alone. That's fine. Um, at the present time, which is uh, 420, I am able to move around the flat much easier with the help of a walking frame. It's no fun when you damage your back. Yeah, back problems are, oof, the worst. Um, I'm hoping to get out the front door and down the steps to the pavement level. It's one of the targets, Mr. Physiotherapist set. I will get there in the end. Well, enjoy the boxes. Take care. Charlie, Purrs and Meows from Weirdo and Kevin. Well... Charlie, I, I'm, I'm sorry that you're having trouble getting around. Um, I, you know, I went through, uh, I, I didn't have to use a frame, but I did have to see a physical therapist for a while uh, for my back pain. And it's it hasn't gone away entirely, which uh, it's, I don't know, it seems like it just came on so acutely in one incident. So it seems like it should be something that could be fixed. But so far, not entirely fixed. I've just learned to live with the little bit of it that's left over. I hope you at least get to that point. Um, okay, but there's more note here. Um, so let's see. Box number one, I see, contains one, all right, named rings for nibbles and the niblets and can tr crocheted balls with tails and eyes. So that's, uh, these are very cute. Oh, wow. Um, I see. It does have eyes and a long tail. 
And it says, there's also the little ring that says Nibbles. I love the little rings with their names on them. So do the kittens, by the way. We have Tank's, um, I don't know where it is right now, but Tank's ring was in the room with these guys, and they kept taking it away from Tank and carrying it around and playing with it, which is why I don't know where it is right now. Uh, I like that you also say, DJ, they are not snakes. <laughs> that's cute. Okay, so that's Nibbles. Uh, this is one for Ramekin. Ramekin gets a smaller one. I see it's got a smaller head on it. It says Ramekin. Very cute. We have one for the boy, Teaspoon. Wow, that's a bright orange. What do you think, buddy? Yeah, it's very pretty. Oh, yeah, he wants to check it out right now. Okay. Uh, I love that ring with the bright orange border around it, too. We have one for Spatula, which is sort of a, a maroon and pink. One for Goblet, which is a purple, pink, and white. And one for Spork, which is also purple, pink, and white. Very cute. Uh, they get identical ones. That's uh, that's cute. All right. Those are wonderful. I'm going to put those over here with the endowments for these kids. Um, then there's more. You say Pressy from Weirdo and Kevin, and there's more. Um, which okay, so Pressy. Oh, okay. I don't. I don't know what that means, uh, but these are little stained glass cats that will look so good in a window. Oh, I think they're all connected to each other. Look at that. They are all connected to each other, so they all hang together. Little stained glass cats. I love stained glass. I don't have any. Uh, well, I do now. Um, I don't have any, but I've always loved the, the colorful glass in there, especially if you can put it somewhere where the light will go through it. It's so lovely. Just beautiful. Uh, I especially like, like stained glass art in uh, cathedrals and stuff where you see that sort of thing. Uh, just beautiful. So that's what this is, stained glass. And I, th I think it's the real deal, too. I mean, it seems uh, like, uh, like real stained glass. Uh, super nice. Okay. But you say, and there's more. And that's cute because in the box it says, and there's more. <laughs> okay. Well, let's see what's under here. Ah. <clears throat> okay, uh, there is more. We've got extra. We've got Nork, uh, which is Tank's little sister. We have Shane, and we have Donkey Vup. That's so cute. Uh, so little Donkey Vup is that donkey that arrived the other day. It's on the top of the rocket. I <clears throat> Excuse me. Let me use my mute button and cough. Um, All right, I think I got that all out. Um, so Donkey Vup uh, has been in the other room at the top of the rocket since he arrived. And uh, every time I see him wearing his little name tag that says Donkey Vup, I get that song uh, by Erasure stuck in my head. Um, so Chains of Love is the name of the song, and now it's stuck in my head, too. I can't even think that, that name without having it stuck in my head. So Shane, perfect. And then Nork, Tank's little sister. Honestly, I'm not sure which uh, camera is supposed to be Nork, um, but uh, we, I'll, I'll figure it out. I'm sure the chat will tell me. I like, I like Nork as a name. Uh, all right. So those are super cute. Thank you. And I was just saying how those have been popular around here. So I know uh, that, that uh, those are going to, to be fun toys that everybody can play with. Uh, sorry, I ate your Biscoff biscuits, but we'll send some later. Oh, they were delicious. <laughs> and then you finish with, oh, heck, DJ, they are snakes. <laughs> That's cute. Okay, uh, so the and there's more is a named ring for Shane, a named ring for Shane's friend Donkey Vup, and a named ring for Nork. Oh, FYI, Nork is the camera which was attached to the cage which Nibbles and her crew used in the annex. Where she is now, I don't know. I see. All right. Uh, I, I think that's probably the same camera that's in their cage, uh, in the cage upstairs now. But I, I actually wouldn't know for sure either. We'll just we'll let it be a traveling name and ring. I think that works for me anyway. I hope it works for you guys. Okay. Box number two contains. Oh, I see. All right. Well, uh, now I know what box number two contains. But let's open it up so that everybody can see. Here we go. I really honestly have that song stuck in my head. It's terrible. It's, it's, I mean, it's terrible having it stuck in your head all the time. Uh, it's, uh, wow. Okay. 
Uh, now, hang on. Let's see. How are we going to organize this stuff? Okay, I put all those there. So, okay, we're good. We're good. We got this. So, uh, box two contains named rings for puddles and the puddlets and a wooden heart, you say. All right, well, these are cute little rings here. We have one for Drizzle, and it says Drizzle. Oh, and they each have a wooden heart. I see. Home is where the cat hair sticks to everything but the cat. <laughs> so true. Uh, Bud. Oh, Bud's is so cute with the same little wooden heart. I like that. Uh, Puddles gets this cute pink one. Brawly also. And Raindrop and Sprout. Oh, those are adorable. And they came very quickly for these kids. So uh, sweet that you got to put all of those together. Those are beautiful. I'm going to put those right up here on top of the other endowments so we can sort all that out. I am... I have a big debt to pay in the basement right now, <laughs> taking care of all those. Here we have little cats that are all standing up. They, they seem like they're made to hold something uh, because that looks like what they are doing. So maybe we find a way to use them for that. But you can see it's a set of little kitties like this. See, you could, you could balance something on top of them, especially if you used all of them. You could get them to hold something up together very well, couldn't you? Let me show you. We're going to try it right now. Check this out. Oh, uh, if I had three, I, I mean, I, we do have three, but I'm not going to open them all up. There we go. I don't know if you can see that. It might be too low for you to see, but we got the little kitties holding up the box. Here, I'll take a picture, because why not? Because uh, my camera's not working. That's why not. I think you could get those little kittens to hold just about anything. Those are adorable. DJ's going to like those. Okay, so I'll put those back in the bag here. And you've got five of them, each different colors. Perfect. Okay, uh, and then you say also, name rings for puddles and puddlets and wooden heart biscuits for DJ. So we have shortbread Pattersons or Patersons? I don't know. Scottish bakers since 1895. Wow, I hope they haven't gone bad. Uh, <laughs> shortbread fingers, and of course, caramel wafer biscuits. Oh man, those are so yummy. All right, uh, thank you for those, but there is, of course, a third box. All right, our third and final box for today's mailbag. Uh, this one has opening instructions too, but it opens differently than the first two, at least according to the instructions. So, cut here. Okay, there we go. This time I didn't read ahead. So I don't know what's in here yet, but let's take out some of this packing material. Okay, interesting. There's stuff packed in here. Let's see what you have to say about it. Hey, buddy, what are you doing? Box three uh, contains chocolate for you. Enjoy. Okay, it also says a box surprise and no comment. And then uh, number three, present for teaspoon or for photo shoot. Okay. Uh, and that's the end of the note. So let's see. First off, uh, chocolate for you. All right, perfect. Oh, look, we've got peanut M&Ms. We have Mr. Tom peanut in caramel. I've never heard of a Mr. Tom, but it looks delicious. Uh, also, a sn two Snickers and then a Nestle Lion coconut. Wow, that is a bold-looking lion. And a Star Bar, Cadbury Star Bar. Well, so we obviously have Snickers here uh, in the USA but, uh, and M&M's, but the rest of these are all new to me. Mr. Tom, Star Bar, and the, the Coconut Lion, they all sound fantastic. The, the little Star Bar, I get the idea is um, we have something with crisp rice and caramel in chocolate that I bet is like that. And it also has a star name, although I can't think of what it is. Um and then uh, Mr. Tom, peanut and caramel. Wow, that's, uh, those look, I'm, I'm very excited to try some of those. Okay. Uh, and the Snickers bars, you know, those are, I like to freeze them in the freezer and then eat them. And then uh, they like crunch at first and they get all chewy. Oh, real treat. So thank you for those. What on earth are these? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I know what these are. Uh, I, I don't know if these are the surprise or the present, though, so hang on. Let me open the other thing, because those are too silly. No, this, uh, these aren't. Okay, this says teaspoon on it, so this is the, these are the, those are the surprise. Okay, and this is the present for teaspoon. So let's see what this is first, and then we'll come back around to the su surprise. Uh, oh, this is cute. This is teaspoon's eyes are still blue, the smallest lenses I could find. All right, let's see what are the lenses here. 
There we go. They're oh, very nicely packed. Okay. Okay. All right. Keep. Oh, oh, these are even small. We have, we have some cat costume sunglasses, but these appear to be even smaller than those. Where'd he go? These do look like exactly the right size for him right now. And they're very nice, too. They have a, a blue-tinted aviator glasses uh, with really nice everything here. And uh, actually, they might be a little bit big for him right now. So Teaspoon's eyes are still blue, smallest lenses I could find. All right, that's adorable. Um, and uh, I guess I'll leave them out, and we can add them to my box of costume stuff uh, for the cats. I keep meaning to go through, uh, well, I shouldn't say keep meaning to. I keep seeing it and thinking, i got to do a photo shoot. i got to do a photo shoot. I really want to also. It's just, uh, anyway, uh, these are super cute. I wish he were still sitting here. He's over there on the cat tree playing now. All right, but this is the cutest thing. So here's where you say, box, surprise, no comment. It is... Uh, it appears to be what I would think are Teaspoon's blue eyes. Uh, that's got to be what these are. And I love the way you've packed them as well. <laughs> it's so cute. So they're, they're cute. They're little crocheted. Each one with just a little black dot on it. But together, uh, they make cute little blue eyes. <laughs> they're completely adorable. Look at that. I can, even, uh, I can even aim them different directions here in the box. That's cute, too. Have them look around. Oop. Uh, uh, oop. A little cross-eyed. Okay, let's go cross-eyed. There we go. That, that. <laughs> those are so cute. So they're little cat toys, obviously, and I think those will be really fun for somebody. Um, just adorable. They might they might go well as being something to go with teaspoon uh, eventually too. Who knows? So I'll put those together for now. Um, uh, we'll just keep those right next to each other and then we'll, uh, we'll see what we can do with the Charlie. That's so sweet of you. I love all of it. Um, I'm especially excited to try these chocolates, but those, the eyes and the glasses are fantastic. Uh, and I, I do hope that I can find time to do a, a real photo shoot. Um, I also have a whole bunch of real photos that I've taken that just haven't been published or edited yet. Um, and I, that's going way back. I think maybe even three classes. Oof. Uh, so I, I do have to get around to all of that, and I just have been, I don't know, swamped. Uh, so uh, no excuses. I don't need to make more excuses for stuff. It's just the way it is, uh, and we'll get to it in due time, uh, like everything else. So I just uh, thanks, thank you so much for that, and thanks, uh, everybody, for everything. It's overwhelming. It's fantastic. These kittens are so well cared for, thanks to all of you, um, and uh, continue to be so well cared for as they go on to their forever homes. So uh, really wonderful that way. For my part, I'm going to get up now and start putting this stuff away. And I'm going to turn off the good mic and uh, switch us back to the regular sound. Let's do that right now so I don't forget. I'll be back and I'll say thank you one more time when we wrap up the archive and then maybe someday this actually will get published. Like I said, I tried really hard to upload all that stuff this week and it just never, it never went. Uh, it all got to like 5% uh, over the course of a day and a half. And, uh, and then Google was like, come on, forget it. You're, you must be joking with this, which is exactly what I keep saying to our ISP, by the way. <sighs> all right. Uh, I don't know where to put your lovely letter. I guess I'll put it here with the other ones. Okay. Oh. Up and at him. Oh, oh my goodness. All right. Ooh. Oh, wow. Stretch it out. All right. We got this. Come here, buddy. Oh my goodness, you feel like you are full of food. So full of food. Let me feel your food. I'm going to. Yeah, I know, pal. I know. I know. I feel the same way sometimes. Okay. Uh, I have to at least sit here for one second and see how these glasses do look like a perfect fit for him. Uh, nearly perfect. Okay. Oh, look at that. They really do fit. Oh my goodness. Wow, <laughs> he's not enjoying it too much, but look at that. They fit and they st they kind of stick a little bit. <laughs> okay, bud. Oh, wow. Okay, let me see if I can also just, oh, man, it's going to be tricky. 
But if I can take one quick picture with the camera of it, with this camera, and then I can just share that with DJ real quick and she'll be like, what? Because uh, that's the way she talks. Just see, I know, buddy, I know. You're being so patient. You really put up with a lot already in your whole life. Now look what I'm doing to you. Just making everything worse. Just making everything so much the worse. Okay. You just have to balance it for one second. I know. You want to take it right off. Okay. Quick picture. <laughs> oh, hey, buddy. Hey. You're looking good. Okay. Let's get a better background, too. Let's just, since you're going all for it. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, hopefully one of those pictures comes out well enough. That's adorable. What a great fit. Ari, Ari, of all the boxes to play in, don't go stealing people's endowments. There you go. You gotta send this picture to DJ. She is just gonna lose it. She is not expecting this. Sending you all seven pictures that are remotely viewable. I'll put them on Discord too in just a second. I don't know where he went. Did you see this too? This is this is this. So those are these from Charlie. I are so cute. they cute? They fit perfectly. Is that the are these the photos? What's that? Are these the photos in that room? Yeah. Oh my god. So look what else she sent uh, in honor of these photos. You ready for this? Oh. <laughs> that is so cute. <laughs> oh. Beautiful buddy. 
I'm going to have to get out the real camera just for those last two. Perfect. Can I call the writer back? Yeah, are we wearing glasses for sure? He's like, no, I did this once. I don't want to. Sorry, what? Raleigh and Raindrop. Oh, that's okay. Raleigh was the first one to eat, and uh, she just hasn't really wanted to do it since. And she tried it once and was like, this isn't for me. But no, it's okay. They're early. You know? There's a lot. Raleigh is a lot. Good. I'll take it. Drizzle's proud that she doesn't want to do more things before. She's all kind of getting used to her and Hit or miss at this point. Proud and five days in game. Oh, well, that's not great, but mom has been trying to lead her a little bit. Yeah. So. I think they're too high. Okay. When they eat, they try to pump on their fingers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were doing that. The bud was doing that to me. And it's very, very sharp. Yeah, they got the teeth. Thanks for trying it. They're all fat, so if they're getting weaned, they got. Bugs away from here. Look at that. I didn't know that was in there. <clears throat> right, I promise new tissue for you guys next time. Let's get rid of this old used up tissue. These are going to go get filed too downstairs. Let's put these up. Yeah, the lighting looks so 
still worried about it. Right. Right, you so you can't can't wait we can get a picture of you and your uh, wall thing right now. Can we do that right now? Would you go in there for me? I know. I know. You're not gonna go in there if I want you to. You spend all your time in there, so let's see. Okay, come on. It's like no, uh uh, this is a trap. It's a trap. It's a trap. Okay, I'm sorry. She doesn't want to do it if I want her to do it.
right, well, can't go buddy. Like this little dragonfly? Is it a dragonfly? No, it's a hummingbird. It's got a beak. I think that makes it a hummingbird. Uh, well, that's it. Uh, thanks so much to everybody for everything one more time. It's just, it was amazing. DJ thought that that was all really great. Those pictures of him with the sunglasses on are spectacular. Hopefully we can do even better with that before too long. Buddy, your nose is so covered in food. Still. Still. So, uh, so thanks so much to everybody for everything. Um, it's, uh, it's just it's amazing how well cared for these cats are, and I definitely can't take all the credit for that. Uh, it's really uh, all of you that, that contribute so much to it, so thank you for that. Hey, buddy, I know. I know. Like, please stop cleaning my face. I like it dirty. I like it dirty more than I like being cleaned anyway. I know, buddy. We got you. Just a little more. Oh, that's a big boot. Wow. Okay. <laughs> All right. Mm, you look good and clean now, though. Pretty good and clean. As good as I can get it. Uh, all right. So I'm going to end the archive there. And we'll see you guys next time. Theory. Uh, where's that? There it is. Okay, we got it.